What's that you got cooking? Apple do stew with apple do's. Mm, didn't we have that yesterday? Or the day before? No. Yesterday it was baked apple do with apple do's. And the day before it was fried apple do's. With apple do's. Oh, I remember now. Sorry, I'm doing what I can to switch up our meals. But in my defense, we have a pretty limited set of ingredients. No offense to you. I'm just getting a little bit tired of the apple dews. Well, I, I guess we'll just have to go for another forage, in case we missed anything. Oh, did you have a chance to look at the engine? Yeah. It does seem like it took some damage upon landing. But I should be able to fix that real quick. Awesome. Your butt's awesome. Say it again to my face. With the lights off? Works for me. Uh, no. I didn't do that. Ugh, we must have run out of flow. Weren't you supposed to charge up the nest today? Excuse me if I was working on the engine. I can't do everything. No worries. I'll go get some more outside. If I'm lucky, I'll stumble upon something to spice up the apple juice. Ah, <gasps> I'll come with you. Over there, a flow thread. Oh, sorry, birds. We didn't see you. Apple juice again. Who knows how long we're going to be stuck here? We might as well stock up. Have you ever seen such a thing? No. Never. Must be an endemic species. And I know it wasn't here yesterday. I mean, 24 hours ago. Y you know what I'm saying. I wonder if it's edible. Only one way to find out. Yes, you're right. I'll pick up some berries and run some tests. First, we'll need to observe any cutaneous reactions. Then we'll cook them to eliminate bacteria. Mmm. It's peppery. You did not. Go ahead. Try it. I'm sure you'll love it. Mm. <coughs> oh, yeah. That is peppery. Lightweight. Off we go. Let's pick these. I'm not sure these will go great with the apple dews. But where there's a meal, there's a way. You know what doesn't go great with apple dews? Apple dews. It isn't ripe yet. Perfect. Although it seems like one thread won't be enough. No worries, we'll find others.
many more do you think we need? I don't know. Three? Maybe four? Good thing there are plenty of flow threads around here. It allows you to change direction without having to stop all the time. Do I do that? We all do it. One or two more threads, and we'll be all set. I'm all charged up. Me too. We can go when you're ready. Whoops. Try again. was a bust. We were too slow. No biggie. Plenty of threads out there. Yes! Just like that. This should last us a few days. Now it's our turn to fill up. Huh? I'm hungry. Roasted apple dews with apple dews. I can't tell if you're actually excited about this, or if you just enjoy seeing me suffer. <clears throat> How long do you think this is gonna last? The flow? Well, if we keep our consumption in check, I think a few days. No, I meant us. Us here. How long until they come get us? Ah, uh, do we have to talk about this? No, we don't have to. Good, because if I'm being forced to do things against my will just like before, then I don't know why I came all the way here. And FYI, you are the one that ruined the mood, not me.
These floating islands are really something. Yeah. Never imagined I would ever see this. You? All right. Let's talk about it. Fine. Uh, I was just gonna ask if you could switch off the light. Oh. You've been mulling it over this whole time? Of course I've been mulling it over this whole time. Thank you for adding one more thing to my mind. Hold on. Are you telling me you hadn't thought about it before? You know what? No, I hadn't thought about it. I'm trying not to think about the apiary. Enjoy what we have here. Even if it isn't much. Um, Do you really think that they can come get us here? If we could take the flow bridge here, then so can they. But there's no way they can know where we are. Is there? I cut off the auto nav, the astrolock. Even the landing was all manual. I'm just saying, let's prepare for the worst. At worst, I kill them. Whoa, you. What? If that's what it takes not to go back, I'll do it. No problem. Kill them, steal their ship. By the time they send more guys, we'll be away. You're seriously not considering... Maybe not. Maybe I am. At worst, we'll know. You're scaring me. <laughs> oh, come on. You're totally safe. You're my teddy bear. I'm not sure how I should take this. <laughs> well, take me in your arms for a start. You aren't dressed yet? I put on my pajamas. I mean, to get out. Well, see, I was just wondering, do we have to get out? Can't we just hang in the nest for once? Lounge around, read a book, watch a movie? We don't have movies. Right, sure, but you know what I mean. You can stay if you want. You get some rest, and I'll gather provisions. I don't mind. But staying here alone sucks. So, you'll come with me? Or you could stay. And you go get food? What? No. Then, who? Ugh, all right. Never mind. I'll get dressed. Let's go. Do you remember where the apple dews were? Could we try and pick something else for a change? This is a pretty one. Is it me or is the ground shaking? It's shaking. It's shaking a lot.
<sighs> Is it over? Seems like it. A anything broken? No. No, I don't think so. <sighs> well, except... <sighs> It's not all lost. Well, it is. A bit. Look, we can always search the islet, try and find a way to get to the other side. Such as? I, I don't know. A, a rope. A jetpack. Spring-loaded shoes. Anything. I don't want to be stuck here. It sucks. <sighs> Me neither. That's why we'll have to find something. Okay. I, uh, I think I found something. Call me crazy, but this looks like a Bluton? Yep, it looks like a flow bridge. Kind of like the one we took to get here, but smaller? Is that possible? Why not? We still don't really know how the flow bridges work in space, but if the phenomenon can happen on a macro scale, then why not on this one? If there can be flow between two planets, why not two? bits of a planet. Okay. If this really is a flow bridge, I'm not sure what we're waiting for. What? Flow bridges are linking one place to another, right? So this one definitely leads someplace. Wait, y you want to just get on there without knowing where it goes? It goes elsewhere. I think that's as good a start as any. Huh. Um... Do we have everyone? Okay? Here. <laughs> then we're good. Looks like we're on another islet. Yeah. The bridge seems to be a link between the islets. If there are any others like this, we may be able to get back to the nest. Do you see what I'm seeing? Uh, a big ugly lizard? No, the mushroom's on its back. Looks like a type of hygrocybrubicins. Ah. Is that good news? Like, can we eat it? Oof. Not at all. Unless you're looking for a quick way to unload your kidneys. But don't you find that symbiosis amazing? The movements of the lizard are helping spread the spores. As far as what the lizard is gaining, I'll have to study that closer. Maybe it doesn't even know. Maybe we should tell it. No way. You don't get in the way of Mother Nature's plans. I'll make sure that next time you have salad stuck in your teeth. Boots will fare too well in the water. Oh, could they get damaged? No way. They're waterproof. But you won't exactly grip the track underwater. Make sure they don't get squished. Big one.
Seems like our mini flow bridge. Good. Wow. That's... Actually... What is that? We should take a closer look. Any idea what's underneath our feet, Mr. Geologist? Not really. It looks like a dust deposition. Some kind of rust. And it looks like this kind of rust is particularly sensitive to flow. What? Look beneath your feet. Oh. There's vegetation underneath. It was probably smothered. Good thing we came this way. Way. Look, it looks like the rust has formed into a bigger chunk. Great. We can bring that back to the nest to study. Another flow bridge. That's great. It means there must be others. If we're lucky, they'll bring us back to the nest. Rust. Saw that. Even the apple dew shrubs are completely covered. I hope this one will yield some nice and juicy fruit to thank us. where we came from. All right, I know. the nest if we keep going north. Explain to me how you know which way north is on this planet. Uh, we should find the nest if we keep going straight ahead. <laughs> Thank you.
too heavy. Nah, this aerial threat is just too fragile. You've never heard of boba nuts? They're one of the most nutritious nuts. 25% carbohydrates, 50% protein, 75% lipids. Great! But how does it taste? Didn't you hear what I said? 75% fat. <laughs> of course it tastes great. We almost missed this one. I thought this planet was supposed to be a desert. Deserted. Not a desert. According to the archives, a colonization plan had been considered by the Apiary, with Exanova as the main provider. But the planet was eventually classified as inhospitable. Let me guess. Is it because of that rusty stuff? I don't know. The file doesn't say anything about that. Hmm. I hope we don't have any more unpleasant surprises. What state? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. There is no way this thing is flying again. Don't say that. You could make a rock fly with the right tools. Well, maybe. But not this one. Both wings are wasted. The propellers were ripped off. And I'm not even done checking the inside. We weren't really planning on leaving, were we? We don't really have another place to go anyway. I'm tired. Why are we always so unlucky? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Hold on. We decide to escape the Apiary, which apparently no one has managed to do before us. We punch in some coordinates really at random, only because some obscure document from Exanova vaguely attested to the existence of a habitable planet. By some kind of miracle, we cross the boundaries of the apiary without getting caught. We travel across space in a Class D ship that is totally not designed for that. And in spite of the fact that this is not all terrain, we land without breaking anything. We find food and flow on site even though we hadn't really planned for it. Finally, we get hit with an earthquake, all right, but we get out of it unscathed. The only real consequence is that the nest is a little bit busted. And you think that we're unlucky? You. We are the luckiest people in the universe. That's... that's one way to see it. This planet is our chance to start a new life. With our own rules. Away from the apiary, from the matchmaker and all that bloot. And I'd rather endure a thousand earthquakes than risk being away from you. <sighs> what did you say this planet was called again? Source. Source. The beginning of something. Seems like it. Whoa. What a mess. And now the nest is all akimbo. This feels weird. Yeah. We'll need to find a way to correct that, but it can wait until tomorrow. I think we've had our share for the day. We deserve some time to relax, if you know what I mean. You can do whatever you want, but I am going to bed. I'm not hungry. I never thought I would hear you say that in my whole life. 
I guess my stomach has a deep connection to the nest condition. Do you want to tidy up a bit? No. Tomorrow. I don't feel strong enough right now. You okay? Uh, you? Wake up! It's okay. I'm here. That was just a nightmare. Everything's fine. That... that wasn't a nightmare. Sure it was. <laughs> Rest easy. No! I was awake. I, I could hear you. I just couldn't move or yell. I couldn't breathe. It was horrible. Yeah, seemed like it was. Do you want my opinion? I'm not a dream expert or anything, but... It wasn't a dream. I wasn't sleeping. My eyes were wide open. No, your eyes were closed. I'm telling you, they were open. I saw everything. You, the, the room, everything. Okay. Okay. What I meant was that it may have been because of the nest. What? You said you couldn't move. You were nailed to the bed. A bit like the nest which is stuck to the ground, right? You've been flying in this thing for years. I bet you're upset to see it in this condition. Huh. <laughs> no kidding. Which means that if we fix up the nest... This'll all go away? Could be. <laughs> Worst case scenario, the nest will be fixed. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope we'll eventually find the missing parts then. So I can get fixed up too. All right. Now we can see a lot clearer. Yeah, we're not there yet, but that should do the trick for now. Now we just need to figure out how to level the nest. The tractor globe is probably done charging. Let's bring it outside. Do you think it'll be enough to lift it? I hope so, because I have no idea what else we can do. What are you looking at? The distance between us and the apiary. I wouldn't expect it to change. Exactly. It's comforting. little snack for the road. Huh. Sounds good. I'll bring the first aid kit as well. Just in case. <laughs> Did it move? No, I don't think so. Bulging blunt! Ugh, it's over. It's not going back straight. We'll never be able to fix it. We are condemned to living on an incline in a broken ship forever. Until our body adapts and one of our legs starts shrinking to even us out. That's not how things work. I know that's not how things work. Nothing is working the way it should. Especially not this bloating tractor globe. 
poor thing is doing what it can. It wasn't designed to lift ships in the first place. I know. But I was hoping it would go the extra mile. Right now, the batteries drain out even before lifting the nest off the ground. What if we plugged it into a flow spring? I thought about that, but we'd have to be able to seal the pipe shut. Unfortunately, I don't think they make gaskets for flow springs from a distant planet. Perhaps we can make one. With what? Paper mache? Remember yesterday when I told you that rust scatters when it comes in contact with flow? We could use that feature to sculpt a gasket out of pieces of rust. You could do that? I don't think I could sculpt a nude statue of you or a super complex component, but molding a gasket? That seems doable. That's awesome! <laughs> Hold on, let's not start pushing before the panties are rolled down. Excuse me? You've never heard of that saying? No. Uh, must be a true thing then. That means let's not celebrate before we... Yeah, yeah. I got it. Anyway, how much rust do you need in order to <laughs> pull the panties down? Uh, I don't know. Four or five blocks like those we already got? Okay, so let's try and find that. Do it. There's kind of an apple dew taste. It's in there. Hey, you never told me. What did your mate look like? Eh, I don't know. Didn't you get her file from the matchmaker? Yeah, I did. But I never really looked at it. Seriously? You're not even curious? Well, no. <laughs> I already knew you. <laughs> Whatever. Come on, we'll look at it together. If you wish. Oh, all right. Any other pictures? Yeah. Hmm. 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 She's kind of cute. You think so? Yeah, definitely. Don't you? I don't know. Too much makeup, I think. I like a more natural look like yours. Mm-hmm. Do you really think I'm not wearing any kind of makeup right now? Um... <laughs> Come on, let's check her profile instead of this foolishness. Let's see. Interests. Reading, music, having a drink with my friends. Whoa. Do you think you can handle such a strong personality? <laughs> That's harsh. Job. Ocean Biology Research Assistant at the University of Ox. Huh. Okay. Looks like you two are made for each other. No one is made for each other. That's the kind of rhetoric the matchmaker uses. Yeah. Yeah, I know. But it still looks to me like that was a bleeding good pick. You'd make a great couple. Might have made. There's a difference. Uh, tell me. Are you really wearing makeup right now? <laughs> We spend every waking minute together in the nest. If I discreetly slipped into the bathroom every morning to put on some eyeliner, don't you think you'd notice? <laughs> yeah, at least I think. But you're not really answering my question though. I know.
okay? We need to talk. Should I be worried? Yes. No. Maybe. Promise me you won't be mad. I can't promise anything without knowing what this is about. <sighs> it's about your skidding skills. Oh. <laughs> Let's just say that you could use some extra training. <laughs> okay. Show me. You're not mad? Why would I be mad? I love to learn new things. All right. Let's hop on a few threads to practice. say, I have an excellent teacher. Will you pass the test? Let's get back to business. This way is also full of rust. Not for long. Here, another big chunk. We probably should grab some more, just to be sure. Let me know when you have enough for us to make the gasket, okay? For sure. Be careful. These creatures don't seem to be in their right mind. I did notice that. be able to pacify it. Copy that. Now shoot. One to go. Ah. All right, that's it. <laughs> it's settled down. Now's the time. Now he's back to being sweet. Seems like it was the rust that made him aggressive. Any idea why? It could just be because they're uncomfortable. If the rust hurts them, that would explain why they're turning violent. But it doesn't explain why they're attacking us and not fighting amongst themselves. Maybe the rust is taking over their nervous system in some way, like a parasite. Or maybe it's because of pheromones. You could also say, I don't know. I'd understand. Okay, I don't know. You hear that, Oink? You're a scientific mystery. Oink, his name is Oink now. Oink, we're stacking up. Why just I have a stowaway on my sleeve. A bug? Better. A seed. It must have hooked on when we brushed past the plant. And it just so happens it chose the one with the green thumb. Clever seed. Natural selection doing its work. Do you think you're going to plant it? What do you think? <laughs> yeah, I don't even know why I asked. If we find enough of them, we could start a little vegetable patch at the nest. I vote yes. Motion approved unanimously. Just need to find some more seeds. Easy enough, don't you think? Not so sure. If these plants have few natural predators, they might have somewhat of a slow reproductive process. We'll just need to keep an eye out.
you can count on me. <sighs> what? Nothing. I just can't imagine you spotting seeds right out of the wilderness. Says the guy who's incapable of finding his stuff when it's right under his nose. That's not the same. I mean, plants are kind of my specialty. So? I know what a seed looks like, don't I? Certainly. I'm sure I'll find more than you. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Wanna bet? Don't tempt me. Just a little more rust, and we'll be set. Another seed. Two to nothing is a pretty good start. Hey! The first one didn't count! What? Why didn't it count? We hadn't started the contest. Uh, okay, one nothing. But that's only because I know I'll win. And that is exactly what will cause your downfall. me a threat. What does she want from us? Ah. Wow! Ah. Are you all right? Bam! I'm coming! Dodge this one! This one's ready! I'm on it! Nice target luck! Wow! Ha! What's us do? You! Now what? That didn't seem to bother him much. Who's that? He didn't like that too much. Oh. You know what to do. I got this. Great job. You're welcome. One to go. Chill. Let's get it over with. And done. The end. Two to nothing. Okay, okay, beginner's luck. But watch out. It won't last. For here, or to go? To go. Too bad. It could always be useful.
We must look so goofy right now. So what? No one can see us. Do you need a lot of rust for the gasket? Hard to say. But better to have too much than not enough. I'll tell you when we're good. I'm seeing? What? It's straight ahead. An aerial flow thread. Oh, yeah. Do you think it could carry us all the way up there? Only one way to find out. <laughs> Seems like that's the highest we'll get. That wasn't too far off. Look, there's another bridge over there. Ugh, but I wanted to go all the way up. We'll have to lay off the apple dews then. Did we miss or did it break? It broke. And three. Ugh, you are not even letting me take a look. enough rust to cobble up your tractor vehicle. Are we leaving then? You and you are. Another thing from home. How many do you think Axanova built before they realized it wouldn't work? Two already seems like a lot. Throwing money around isn't exactly within the company culture. Neither is canceling a project for that matter. I'm not surprised that everyone remained discreet about this whole failed colonization business. I am surprised by the fact my mom has never mentioned it to me. I don't think Exanova wins colonization contracts on the regular. These buildings look kind of old. Your mom may not have been head of the company then. She may not have been with the company at all. Yeah, that's possible. Still, it's weird. Agreed. I guess we'll figure it out eventually. We've been spotted! Chill! Boom! Booyah! Eat it! Hey! That's cheap! Hey, boom, baby! Start it! Dodge it! You know what to do! Yep! Let's do this. There you go. The end. So. Great job. You're welcome. One left. Take that. Aha. 
chill. Awesome! Oh, oh Bloot! Your turn. I'm on it. You know what to do. I got this. Well done. bridge we took to get here? It is. We've got everything we need to mold a joint for the tractor globe. All right then, ready when you are. I'm just waiting on you. I can't wait to get going. So? Well, it fits. That's a good sign. Let's get this ball rolling. Well. What? Haven't you heard of that one either? Oh no, I have. It's just a really old-fashioned saying. Let's get the show on the road. Okay, that's worse. Can you just switch on the tractor globe, please? <laughs> okay. We just need to fix up the wings, and the turbine, and the hypopropellers, and... Don't be so cynical. Getting the nest out of the crevasse was quite a feat. Huh? No, don't get me wrong. I am genuinely delighted. I love fixing things up. But... I don't think we need to get started right away. <sighs> That's a relief. Hmm. This isn't gonna go very far without rust. It's all straightened out. 
Everything's tidy and clean. Besides us, that is. <laughs> yeah, we are kind of stinky. Off to the shower then? Ah, Blute. What is it? I just mobbed the bathroom. Oh. Do you think we can marinate another 10 to 15 minutes in our own filth? <laughs> Honestly, can do. I've already eaten too much. I can never eat too much. Okay. I've already eaten too much. You? Yeah? I see you've brushed your hair in the shower again. How can you tell? It's not draining. Uh, sorry. What's this rocky chunk got to say? Well, for starters, it says it's not a rock. Really? What is it then? Some kind of metal? No. It's not mineral or organic. So, what is it? <laughs> Going straight to the hard questions. But that is not how science works. How does it work then? First of all, you formulate a hypothesis. Then you build an experiment to test this hypothesis. You observe, and you learn. Okay, then what have you learned? That I'm lacking imagination regarding hypotheses? One thing we know for sure is that rust particles scatter immediately when in contact with flow. I'd like to observe this reaction more closely. You can do that next time. Right now, you should go to bed. Already? What time is it? No idea, but I know I'm sleepy. And I want my snuggles before I crash. <laughs> gotcha.